folks, this is Brian from Super Easy Toots. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the two main character data types in C++. So to begin, let's open our template file. If you haven't done that, it's in tutorial one, or you can just uh, pause the video and type out what you see on the screen. We've basically got our pound include IO stream using namespace std, and then our function int main parentheses open brace return zero semicolon close brace so the first uh, main character data type in C++ is char and char basically holds one character it's written with single quotes uh, here's an example char ch equals a surrounded by the single quotes and basically if we look at another example here a little bit more detailed um, we have char which is our data type we have Peyton which is the variable name and then the letter E which is the value we're assigning to our char variable Peyton. So if we type that in over here in the Quincy side, set it equal to E, and, that, and then we're going to output it, just see out, and even though we have Peyton in here, that's our variable name, so it's going to, the compiler is going to know to uh, assign the letter E into that, the character E. So first thing we want to do is save this and we'll save this as program 3. And then we'll do debug and run. It's going to go through, it's clean, and boom we have the letter E up there. So that's basically how the, the, the char works. Uh, now, if we happen to mess up, and let's uh, let's assign another char. Let's assign our good old boy Warren, and we'll give him the value a b, and then we'll see out that. I'll put uh, Warren, close this, and we'll debug and run it. It's still going to uh, it's still going to execute the program, but you're going to get this warning here that you've got an implicit constant conversion. Basically, it's what it, what it's saying is you've assigned a character variable uh, multiple characters, and you can't do that. The char is restricted to just one character. It still prints out the b, uh, but it's still a mistake. So you definitely don't want to do that. So I'm just going to delete these uh, these two lines, and then the next. Uh, um, the next character data type that we're going to cover is string. Basically, string can hold zero to many characters, and it's written with double quotes, uh, such as like this, string xx equals hello world, surrounded by the double quotes. It's a little bit more detailed. If we, uh, if we do string and then name our variable dad and set it equal to good, we have our data type string. We have our variable name dad, and then we have the value that we're assigning to dad, which is the, um, the term good. So if we go over here into the Quincy and we do string dad equals, and then the double quotes, and then we output it. Debug and run. And we're going to see on this next line it has good. So we've basically assigned a string value, which is a multiple character value basically, um, to the variable name dad that we gave. So there's two basic uh, basic main uh, character data types in C++. There's the char and the string. And we learned in the previous tutorial in tutorial 4 about the three uh, numeric ones, numeric data types, uh, int, float, and double. 